Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are playing Assassin's Creed number one, again. This is episode number 22. So, last time we began our investigation. We talked with Al-Mulim, we talked with the bureau leader, and we kind of, you know, cleared out all this area murdering and pillaging and you know the normal and we've come to this area we where we will speak with our informer and i don't really want to jump off here because i feel like i can you know get into this better from this side so we will use our nice new grab technique once again and then we will kind of get down here like this boom and now we can kind of step down onto this and onto this and onto this and he has shown us his ring finger so we know that he's an ally and I feel like I need to go check in here for anything I don't I don't see anything. Oh, would you look at that? There was a ladder the whole time. Oh, there, there was a ladder right next to where we fell, too. Huh. Let's see what he's got to say. Safety and peace. You want information about the city, I suppose? Right now, I don't have time. I must find some flags which have been stolen from our cache in the rich district of Damascus. But with this heat, my legs cannot carry me anymore. Would you be kind enough to help me? Return with the flags, and I'll help you as best I can. Oh, okay. So, you are lazy, and because you are lazy, I must find some flags for you. I understand. This looks like a natural place to climb. Ooh, but there's a guard right there. Let us end him. Oh. It wasn't as natural a place to climb as I thought. I guess I have to kind of get this one down here. Okay, I've got the assassin flag. Now I can go over here and get that one. And I'll jump here and jump on here and then climb up here. Uh, they kind of have them going in two different directions now. Okay. Make these all confusing. They're not hard, they're just, you know, a little bit of flags over here, a little bit of flags over here. And we can sort of climb up? Yes. Oh, but he's mad at us, so I'm gonna drop. He's still mad at us. He's still mad at us. This is. Weird. Okay. We have lots of people mad at us. I don't know why they're so mad at us. I'm not even doing anything. I mean, I, I could be out killing people, you know, ending the lives of their masters, but I'm not. I'm just, you know, kind of collecting some flags. Oops. Come on. Turn around. Oh, no. Really? Why would you jump off, Altair? Why do you hate me so much? You are useless. Get up there. Climbing in this game is a lot harder than it looks. Or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just bad at it. I think it's hard. Altair doesn't listen. He just kind of jumps wherever he wants. Okay. Now that we have all the flags, let's hear the information, man. Thank you. The Rafik will be happy to see these flags returned. Perhaps this morsel of information will help you. I was invited by Abul to one of his lavish parties. I noticed the fountain in the middle of the Merchant King's palace could be easily climbed. Use this information wisely. Now, if you'd excuse me, I must go. So, the fountain in the middle of the palace can be climbed. 
I don't know why, but that seems like an odd bit of information. Let's, let's go here. Do I have any? I do have an attachment. So if I... I assume that that's the fountain in the middle there, and I can just get on, like, maybe a, a trellis or something and kind of walk over. Hmm. Or I can take the other route, which is probably going to start me out behind that door and I'm going to go around and come up f from behind where the arrow is. I don't know. We shall see. Let's kind of move sneakily through here because I don't want to cause problems because Altair is a pacifist again just like he was you know, in the, the beginning, when things didn't work out. Let's, excuse me. I think I can get out of here without causing any trouble. Just jump across, jump across here, and down onto here, and I will get myself a flag at the same time. I don't think I've collected... Oh, hello. I'm going. I'm going down. Please don't shoot me. Thank you. Excuse me. Alright, let's listen to this guy. He spent his own coin to see us fed and clothed. His men tend to the fires that we might be warm. His kindness knows no bounds. Everything we now have, we have because of him. The merchant king provides for one and all. He asks for nothing in return. Let his generosity serve as an example to us all. Everyone should strive to be as he. So if the Merchant King provides for everybody, then why are... Uh-oh. Uh, no. I'm just busy. If the Merchant King provides for everybody, then why are those random women running around saying that they're poor and sick and hungry? And causing general nuisances of themselves. This is nice. Nice secluded place. Oh, he pushed me. You missed. These are fun. Just trade some punches like this. And pretty soon we will be done. Just like that. I'll talk, I'll talk. I've no interest in dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. A wise decision. What is it you want? I have business with the Merchant King. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? Not fear. Hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Locks himself away in his personal quarters out of shame. He can't stay hidden forever. No. Those celebrations of his. He comes out to speak. To look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose. However brief. What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? <laughs> You'll see. Now let me go. Let you go? So you can tell him of my plan? I won't say a thing. No, you won't. <laughs> Huh. So there's something wrong with him. Oh, and of course these guys automatically know that something's wrong, so let's get out of here before they cause problems for me. Now, one thing I can't shake is the f thought that maybe those people who are giving Altair the information don't have to die. We have this whole creed where 
we should not spill the blood of an in of the innocent and yet those people who are just paid to spread rumors or maybe false information probably false information they have to die why did they have to die either way the guards also they're just kind of doing their job are they really true evil I mean this is a game so I probably shouldn't question killing guards too hard but you know it seems like the assassins anyone who gets in their way is an enemy thank you my boy I only wish my sons were half as brave as you I'll see to it that we hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero that's okay I am a hero he says so there are no problems with my morals. Altair is perfect. Let's get up here, because I want to head towards this. Ah, oh, there is a Templar down there. That's kind of a stupid spot. Maybe... Uh, I gotta get this flag, too. Okay, got a flag got a flag. I get a ladder. Let's see if I can slowly descend the ladder and wind up behind the Templar. If not, I'm probably gonna run right up the ladder and... I did not need to. Okay. I'll still run right up the ladder, but I've got another Templar. Twelve, in fact. So that means that... I am 20% done with the Templars. I don't think I'm going to find them all in this playthrough. I can't imagine that they'd all just be scattered along the uh, route of the game. I'm not going to search for them, but if I see them I will kill them because they're evil. Now, once we hit this viewpoint, we can continue on our quest to rid the Holy Land of these evil Templars. Alright, so I guess I need to jump because the map doesn't update until this little thing pops up on your screen I guess that must be when it updates because it's not updated right after I hit the viewpoint so we will save our citizen friend over here and then we will go do some more viewpoints Woohoo! oh boy water ah Excuse me. I'm, I tried. I pressed the button, but Altair is just like, nope, I'm going to use my shoulder. Alright, let's see if I can get three of these. Oh, no, they... They were immediately angry. Haha. -ha. Oh, he counters me. He's good. Go away. There we go. And we are done. Praise God, you've saved me. All the city will know of your sacrifice. I feel like their lips aren't matching up again. Let's let's go to this one first. Ooh, let's See if I can get through here. I don't think I'll have an issue. And then we can cross the bridge here. Oh, I want to cross that bridge. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Those guards are coming. 
they're coming and I'm going to be the one who they attack because I'm the only one in this crowd who could have been responsible for killing those people. It's Ubisoft logic. Or maybe it's just Assassin's Creed logic. Oh, just forgot something so they turned around and walked back the way they came. Ooh. Let's fill my knives while I'm right here. There we go. Now, let's climb building right here because there are guards over there. And goodbye. We can jump right across. Ha ha ha. Now, what will this wonderful viewpoint reveal? We only have a couple more objectives to find here. I, bl I can't remember. I think it's three or two. That will be two. We have two more objectives. And then we can get on with this assassination. Now, huh? There are some people over there. Let's see if I can jump on top of this dome. Yes, I feel like I'm not supposed to be up here. Okay. Now, can I? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna jump, cause I can. And then, oh, I have apparently made them angry. Come on, turn. <laughs> I'm stuck. The view is... St there we go. Okay. Now that I can see what's going on here, I should be able to fight back. Oh. Alright. Like this. And take that. I got your heavy attack. Ooh, another one of those high-level guards is right here now. Let's take care of him first. Oh, the heavy attack again. How have I lost? Oh. Throwing him against that wall apparently knocked him out or something, because he's not getting up. We are done! Where are they gonna take all these people? I mean, I suppose it's one thing for these guards to just kind of be heckling the people who are out here kind of, you know, um, I, I guess stealing? I, I don't know. They always call the people thieves. But what are they really doing? There's so many questions left unanswered in this game. What's in here? Just walk into someone's house again. Oh. I think we've stumbled upon the scene of another horrific argument between husband and wife and now they're just kind of sitting here cooling off. Let's leave them in peace. <laughs> now. Oh. I am supposed to pickpocket them. Or at least one of them. Not the guard. It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salah Adin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help, but tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. Shh. It's a secret to everybody. I feel like... 
I can just kind of walk right up behind him like this, and... Wow. He's good. That was easy. It's just like, ah, oh, crap. I was given the super important task, and I failed it, and now I'm just going to walk aimlessly into the crowd. <laughs> Let's hit the viewpoint now. Let's take a minute, though, to see what that letter is. Ugh. Oh, it's a long one. Okay, so we will we will wait on that letter when we go through and do our review before we actually start the assassination. That's when we'll read the letter. Yeah, kind of. But not really. Altair is perfectly sane. He climbs up buildings. He doesn't quite leap them in a single bound, but he can he can do pretty good. He's not that super. He's mortal. Ooh. Got a guard. Let's just kinda do this. Ha ha ha. I wonder if that was another argument down there. Is everyone seriously just... Oh no, don't, don't... Whew. That was close. Everyone must be going around and just, you know, having massive arguments all the time. You'd think with the Merchant King providing all for them and not asking anything in return that they would be so much happier. Maybe money truly doesn't provide happiness. I'll probably never know that. <laughs> Let's get our flag, and looks like there's a couple of guards over here. So, ooh, there's a ladder right there. So I'm going to climb the ladder. And can I, yes, climb up here cross over the top of the souk. Then let's go help out this person. Ow. That was abnormally hard for some reason. I'm not sure why. I couldn't pull out my sword or my hidden blade or anything. Ooh, epic block. I think I'm finally getting the hang of those heavy attacks when they don't catch me off guard. There we go. It's just a flesh wound. All the city will know of your sacrifice. It's not really a sacrifice to save these people. But sure. We must resist. We must push back. Uh, all right. Oops. Sorry. Yes, I will be more careful. I apologize. Let us find our way into the garden here. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Might as well take care of these guys while I'm right over in the area. He kind of got stuck on the woman there, and that caused him to not be able to reach me with his attack. That's funny. Uh, I wasn't trying to get away. I'm not running. If anything, you're running from me. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. 
I have once again sacrificed myself to save a damsel in distress. I'm good. Just like that. Now, I don't know for sure if I'm allowed to be here. But there's a flag right there. Let's... Oh no, there's water. Ugh. Let's jump across here. There we go. And we are once again safe. Now, can I climb? Ooh, ooh, be careful, I'll tell you. There's water down there. Hmm. I don't... I can't get up here. So, climbing into this area was useless. Brilliant, Altair. Brilliant. What about up there? Nope, that's not going to help me. Let's go the other way. This is a nice little private garden, though. Looks very well maintained. Got some palm trees and some some random plants in the stone. Aha! Oh, would you look at that? Here is the statue that we can climb. And then we jump right here. And then from there we can probably... Can we just jump to this? Yes. Ooh. That's very easy to get up here. Now, I wonder where exactly... One of the guys earlier said that a Bulnakud likes to look down on people, so that looks like a great balcony where he can stand and do his looking down from. Yes, I bet it's gotta be that. So, I bet... We'll have to check out that other way, but this... Climbing the statue was a really easy way to get up to the assassination. Provided that that is, in fact, the place. Oh, okay. I just kind of stand here and synchronize. Usually you have to have one of those little ledge things. You know, with the eagle perch purchased. Eagle eagle perched on top of but not this time okay so we have one informer one viewpoint and a couple of citizens left so let's go take care of those and then we can round out this video because it is about a half an hour right now I don't want to go too much longer than that. Ooh, good catch. Very impressive to see you catch yourself with your four-fingered hand. Wonder how much strength you lose by losing a finger. Is it 25% of your, well, 20% of your strength, not 25, oh, here he is. Altair, my friend, my brother. It's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No. How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I have heard a feather is lying on top of Abul Nukud's head. Maybe I could help you. But I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, two for me. They are Abul Nukud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. Hmm. So I must assassinate two personal guards of a Bulnakud, and he will help me with my investigation. But he mentioned something about someone named Ada. I don't know who that is. 
I will have to try and figure that out before the next video. Oh, he's in the souk. Hmm. Okay. Perfect. Let's... See here. Aha! There he is. Now the question is... Can, is there a guard? There's no... There's a guard right there. Ooh, there's two of them. So let's follow this guy for a little bit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Have the gimpy hand. Oh, I didn't notice that guard right there. Let's see if I can kind of run. Please, Altair, run. Don't push these people. Run. There we go. That was close. Now, where is the next one? He's right here. Alright, watch that. And then I should be able to go... Oh no, I'm lost in the alley. I have a minute to get back. Oop, here's another alley. And if I go around this corner, we have done it! Wasn't that great? Just like in LF, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Yes. When you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. Huh. So this guy doesn't seem to care that we have had our reputation slightly tarnished. Ugh! What is up with these guys? They're just random people and they just, you know, come and punch you. It's like, I didn't do anything to you. Why did you punch me? Alright. I tried for a triple, but nope. Not this time. And... two of them. I hope so. Still best not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. Nah, it's... Me a kindness, young man. It's, it's yes, probably you better if I you stay home. It. In ill omen that you were saved. Okay, so we have one more viewpoint, and we have one more citizen to rescue. I can almost guarantee you based on my so far past experience that those scholars will prove very helpful towards getting into a Bulnakud's fortress during the assassination. Oh. Hmm. So I guess these guys didn't have... Well, they could have had an argument, I guess. Maybe it's just the benches. Maybe they just didn't take the time to program nice, pleasant faces onto the people sitting on benches. So they're just kind of awkwardly sitting there, and it's like, yeah, we're here. I don't know. I think it would be much better if they had a story or something. <laughs> Ubisoft, next time you program people onto benches, give them backstory if you're listening to me. Of course you would be, right? Maybe? Probably not. Maybe someday. Well, have our final look around the city. We're awfully close to that other... Uh, the other district in the city nice blue fog wall that won't let us pass. Okay. So, with that, the rich district of Damascus is completely open to us. And we have one more P-51 
piece of this puzzle. I don't understand your hand signals. All right. And like this. Oh, there's more of them, though. Ah, ha, ha. That was almost assassin-like. Ah, oh, he tricked me with a heavy attack. Well, this has turned into something. It's amazing how quickly all these guards just appear out of nowhere. Oh. And how Altair just decides not to do his thing, because I, I know that I blocked that attack. And that one. And you are done! Oh no. Let's see if I can just kind of... Oh, he, I don't know how he saw me there, but, you know. Because reasons. Good you came along when you did. Another minute and they would have made off with me. I owe you my... Oh. She just kind of decided she didn't want to talk to me anymore and just went away. I suppose that's your privilege. You can do that. I'm not that important. I'm just the man who saved you. Saved your life from the guards who are about to make off with you. Whatever. Alright. So, we will listen to what the Rafiq has to say here. And then we will call it an episode. Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Why was he sure that I'd make a mess of things? I'm good. I'm Altair. I won't... I wouldn't do that. Oh, and this time I was resting. I I was not crying in the corner. How wonderful! We're we're going places. All right. So we have learned what we need to learn about the Merchant King, and we are going to call it an episode. And when we come back, the Merchant King's life will be ours. Yes, indeed. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have a wonderful evening.